everyone. I have another unboxing for you. I'll have two more after this. Uh, unboxings. Either way, they're fun. Today I'll be unboxing Cozy Reader Club. So I have done a few of these in the past, maybe two or three. Um, they are a different type of book box. I'd say they're mostly women's fiction book box and they're really geared towards women that need some me time, which I am always in desperate need of. Cozy Reader is a little bit more of an expensive box, I will say. Items that come in it are quality. Like they're really good items and they're usually the bigger items too, not just like here's a bookmark. It's usually something like bigger like they'll put really f they'll put full-size coffees and teas and treats and things like that in this box and um, So that's why it is expensive, but I would recommend it especially if you need some me time looking for more like kind of food and drink boxes with the book as well if that makes any sense So I think I have a coupon code for you if you're interested in checking out cozy reader Which I'll link down below but either way this came actually on my birthday Which I was like oh happy birthday to me get a cozy reader box I really enjoy this box and I'm so happy every time they ask me to review it because like I said the items in this are quality made I've used every single one of the items they've ever sent me I've gotten a beanie hat before which I use I have like kind of a vintage teaspoon which I use a ton I have a bracelet which I wear a lot I don't wear them videos because it's very noisy so they're really worth the money I would say but I know it's kind of pricier so just so you know all the information I'll leave all their links down below as always Let's open it up shall we Ooh, I love the pictures they put on here too it's so beautiful this is hello fall look at that picture it's got like the little sweater mug and with the oh I love that I wish I would have taken that photo and it tells you everything that's on the back it always comes with some beautiful tissue paper too it's always like a little peach colored Ooh, I like everything that's in it the first thing I see is a pillow cover oh it's um it's a pillow cover for 18 18 inches and it says let's get cozy I would love to get cozy let's open it up oh I love that it looks kind of like rustic if you will maybe because of the colors there it is this is let's get cozy i think i have a pillow that will fit on this too i'm definitely going to use it it's just beautiful this will go on my bed oh it'll be so cute i love that um i'm not like super excited for it because it's like a pillowcase i'm like yeah, pillows but, but either way it's adorable and i will definitely use it it is feeling kind of rougher so i wouldn't recommend like sleeping on this but for decor Yes, please. And the next thing I see is a full-size candle, and it's the Burning Books candle from Hearth and Hammer, which I have smelt before because they've actually sent me a sample packet. And this tells you like when this was poured and everything. This is an all-natural soy wax candle, and it's got cinnamon, orange, and fur in it, and it was made in Illinois. Like I said, I love the company Hearth and Hammer. I love the way it looks, too. It's just simplistic. Let's smell it. Mmm, I remember. You definitely get the orange, I'd say. When you think of burning books, it doesn't smell like a fire. I don't think, at least. It's mostly orange and not so much cinnamony, which I'm grateful for because I'm not like the biggest fan of the cinnamon scents, but it smells really good. I'll definitely use this. I love how this is a full-size candle, too, because a lot of times with book boxes, you'll get the really itty-bitty ones that you can burn maybe once, and that's it. There's a lot of burns out of this candle, and I've heard soy wax candles burn slower, so you can even have this longer than your regular candle, but I love I love this. It's really good. It's not like my favorite scent I've ever smelled, but I like it, and I will use it. This is perfect for like Christmas time, I think. It's got that Christmassy scent too, almost. The next thing I see is tea, like I said. It's usually either coffee or tea. And this is from Tea Pigs, and it's apple and cinnamon tea. Oh, I might have to try this. I'm not a big tea person. I only really drink sweet tea, and that's about it. And I'm not a huge coffee person either. You know what, no, I am. In the fall and winter, I'm all about some coffee. Spring and summer, not so much. But either way, I love the way this looks. You get little tea bags in it. And like I said, this is apple and cinnamon, so I bet it's freaking delicious. And it tells you how to brew it, because me, myself, I'm stupid. I don't know how to brew it. <laughs> but I might have to try this, because I bet it tastes really good. Apple and cinnamon, put a little bit of sugar in it. Mm, that probably tastes amazing. But like I said, you get a full size of this. Like you're getting how many? You're getting 15 tea bags in there. So that's 15 cups of tea, which is a lot. And the last like kind of thing you're getting is cookies. And it's chocolate almond amaretta. Amaretta or amaretti cookie? I don't know. It's from Crumville Bake Shop. And like I said, this is chocolate almond. I might have to try this. Hopefully it will not destroy my lips. <laughs> I'm not a fan of almonds. I'm not, I'm like, I don't like it. Um, I don't like pecans either, so these might have to go to my husband. They're going to be eight, I'll tell you that much right now. They send the most delicious stuff. I still can't forget this one, like, brownie, like a blondie brownie they sent. 
so good. Wow, these are huge cookies. And they're still really, oh my gosh, they're soft. I was not expecting them to be this soft. Holy crap. This is amazing. It tastes like a brownie. Wow. I was not expecting them to taste like this. I thought they were going to be kind of brittle um, because they look kind of brittle in here. But they are so soft. Like, you can see how soft they are. And they are freaking delicious. I need four cookies. And they're pretty big. Like, I just did that half one. I'm full. So, hmm. Hopefully these will be still here when my husband gets home because I'm not sure because these are delicious. There has not been a single item they put in the boxes that I've not eaten because they're so good. So that was everything that was in the box other than the book. The book this month, and they do let you know what books they're putting in the box before they release it. And it is called The Burning Girl by Claire Massoud, I want to say. Interesting cover. Not a huge fan of the cover. I've never heard of this book, so let's read what it's about, shall we? Julia and Cassie have been friends since nursery school. They have shared everything, including their desire to escape the stifling limitations of their birthplace, the quiet town of Royston, Massachusetts. We're saying that state right. As the two girls enter adolescence, their paths diverge, and Cassie's and Cassie sets out on a journey that will put her life in danger and shatter her oldest friendship. The Burning Girl is a complex examination of the stories we tell ourselves about youth and friendship and straddles expertly childhoods, imaginary worlds, and painful adult reality, crafting a true, immediate portrait of female adolescence. That sounds really interesting. I did, not, I did not expect what this book was about. I kind of expected it to be kind of like maybe a thriller, but this sounds almost like two girls that are growing up together that have different paths and one of them is set out maybe on a dangerous path. I'm going to have to I'm going to have to look up reviews on this and maybe read it. It sounds really really good. It looks kind of short. Let's see how many pages you are. It's only 247 pages, which is really small. So I might have to read this soon because it's a short book and I'm interested in it. It sounds really so, good. So, as always, I'm going to go over everything that you've got in the box to let you know what I thought about it overall. Of course, you're getting a newly released book and hardback books. I've noticed hardback adult books are a lot more expensive. Like, this is $26. You want to get a YA adult, you want to get a YA hardback, you can get it for like $20. So, I don't know why they do that. Um, you're getting these cookies right here. Do not eat these before filming the overlays. <laughs> I'm going to have to tell myself that a lot. <laughs> Also getting this Let's Get Cozy pillow, which is going to be so perfect for bookstagram photos come November and December. Yeah. You're getting this full-size candle, which again, is going to be so perfect for... I am always thinking about bookstagram, and I'm like not even a good bookstagrammer. Like the photos I take are like, they're okay. Not anything good, but I'm always excited about using things for them. This candle also smells good, so I will be using it. And the last thing you're getting is this apple and cinnamon tea. Which, so that was the Cozy Reader Club box. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I always love their boxes. I always get so excited when they ask me to review their box because I know all the items are amazing and I enjoy every single one of these items. I would say this tea is probably my least favorite because I don't know if I'll use that. The cookies probably my favorite because they're delicious. Then it would be the candle then it would be the pillow cover and then the tea either way i will leave all their links down below for you to check out because i highly recommend them again up there in price but if i have a coupon code it'll bring that price even down more so if you enjoyed this video be sure to give it a thumbs up hit subscribe and i will see you guys in the next one bye mm -hmm.